Okay, now you're seeing the cleanup that Previx is doing of those three of the rootkit. Um, saying that we got to do a reboot here, but it went ahead and cleaned off the rootkit, cleaned off the registry entry, and uh, cleaned out the registry uh, infection, uh, which will cause the machine to run the more stable once it's removed and cleaned up. Okay, we're starting back up after the Previx clean. Everything is uh, loading up. Go ahead and watch my processes. It's going out to the cloud right now, Previx Cloud. Looks like Previx after the clean is going to uh, do a follow up scan to make sure everything got cleaned off. We're back and uh, Previx didn't find anything, so you've seen examples of all three products showing their use when dealing with attacks. Um, and now we're going to do some real-time uh, system defense when files are being launched from the machine. I'm going to go ahead and disable all this stuff right now. and go out and pull down my um, database of infections or my zip file. Here we're back and uh, here's my collection. Um, I've just my recent collection. This doesn't have all my old variants from months past that I've collected. Um, but we got uh, Qhost in here. We got uh, bunch of fake antiviruses. We got uh, Zeus variants, different Zeus variant builds over the past uh, weeks. They come out, uh, you know, a couple of different updates every day to bypass uh, tr uh, AV signatures. They try to stay ahead of the signatures coming in, which is uh, really good why we, why I have Previx on the machine right now and a firewall to help you set out Anyhow, I'm going to copy these variants onto the desktop. And I'm going to activate Previx. I'm going to turn my firewall back on. And enable ESET which will probably start eating this stuff off very fast. Okay, I'm going to run the SVC host. I believe this is a Qhost Trojan. As you can see, firewall tell me it's trying to already go, this file is trying to go out. And it's trying to resolve uh, DNS right here. So I'm going to tell it to block. I don't want that file to do that. Uh, SVC host is attempting to use another process with parameters. I'm going to tell it to block. He says also blocking that. Um, it looks like it's trying to uh, go to a 193.27.246.175 IP also. Um, blocking that. And I'm going to go ahead and scan this with Previx. See if Previx detects this is a known bad file. Okay, Previx is saying no. ESET ate it. Well, it's detecting it, but it isn't cleaning it off. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go in here and set ESET to go ahead and clean in strict mode. Um, I'm running out of the stock options. I don't. I'm not running. Uh, I'm not. See, like I'm not even using all this. Um, I'm doing out of the stock on everything, out of the box, uh, running how it should. And turn a strict cleaning on so that when I ac access these files, um, it'll just go ahead and clean them off. I don't have to go in here and delete them. Test one. Um, I just highlighted it and you said ate it. That's pretty funny. TP. Don't know what all these are, but it's a looks like. 
Let's see if TP actually ran. I didn't get any, any kind of. Uh, yeah, TP is running. Not really getting. Let's see if we can see any kind of activity. Not going activity. It's not showing up as a re as a app. Let's go and uh, take a look at activity here. All applications. It appears that TP, the file right here, quickly turned itself off after running. ESET actually detects it as a threat but allowed it to run. The Prefix is not detecting it as anything. We run it again. Looks like it's probably a variant Delph, which means that's a heuristic hit with ESET. And I uh, don't really know why right now, top of my head, why it's not cleaning it. Let me go in here and double check my settings. I'm going to go ahead and enable stuff. Let's see now if it goes ahead and cleans it. As you see, I had to turn on some advanced settings to get ESET to do what I wanted it to do. Now that we got that out of the way, let's do Trava. Went ahead and deleted that. This update. Uh, went bye-bye. Allmark Trojan. Um... As you can see, cryptic. As you can see, I got a ton of different variants out there. Uh, tons of Trojans. Another Zbot. Let's check our processes here. See if we got any crazy stuff running in the background. Here's not right now. Appears to be clean. Here's a fake antivirus. Fake antivirus died. Here's a safe fighter. Fake antivirus. Another one. Not antivirus uh, 2010, but a. Uh, Appears that it was also deleted. Here are the last remaining files. I'm going to go ahead and pause and start up a new video.